<laughs> so, yeah, you've learned more than that. Did you learn the, the power of what Dina taught you and Angie about bark? Yeah, there, there's power in that. But if you've learned all of that information and you don't do this, has it done you any good? What does it become at that point? And just information. It doesn't even become knowledge because knowledge comes by doing. Information is just that. It's just information. This, uh, action is all of those things that I mentioned and it's more. It's accountability. It's commitment. It's intention. It's trust. It's opportunities and recognizing those and acting on those when they come. And it's doing it when? Now. Now. Is there any other time? No. No. So let's go into one final thing, is it tough to shift gears? Let's say you're going down your path and it's either working or not working. You want to change it, you want to create it differently. Is it tough tough to shift gears? Only as hard as you make it. As hard as you make it? Only as hard as you make it. Okay. You familiar with gyroscopes? No? A gyroscope is an object that spins so fast that it's difficult to move it out of its motion. You know the law of inertia. The law of inertia states that anything that is in motion, an object in motion, tends to stay in motion unless it is acted upon by a greater force, like gravity, for example. But once an object is in motion, it will continue in that path. Or if it's not in motion, it will stay not in motion. So what I've experienced and what I've felt is that there's a point when we're shifting gears there's what I call the wobble effect. What, what might that be? The foundation is rocking. Okay. Have you ever tried to move a, attempted, let me change that, have you ever attempted to move a gyroscope out of its path? What's, what's that like, man? It's tough, man. It looks easy. Yeah. It's a small it's object, right? It's surprisingly hard. <laughs> what happens when you, when you attempt to move that from its course, which is, it's straight, let's say, you want to move that to the right or the left, what happens to it? Well, if you're able to impact it hard enough, it wobbles. Okay. And then when you get it to another course, what's it do? It smooths out. So if you notice in your life that we experience this wobble effect, you want to change from one way of thinking, one way of doing, to another. When we get into that wobble, we either go back to what we were doing or we push through it to the new path. And when we get there, what happens? It smooths out. And I'm going to show you this so you can physically see it. You guys can... This is a top. Standard top. <laughs> no may may uh, knock Chantel out of the chair. Can you guys see that? Can you see that, Dissy? Matt, you good? And then it breaks. What you'll notice on the top is that in the beginning, before it straightens out, the top will wobble. And then it will smooth out every time. And what I can promise you is that some of these things that you've been taught today may seem, they, they are the path that you want to get onto. But by shifting from what you've been doing to what you want to do, you're going to experience that wobble, that uncertainty, because you've shifted gears. But I can promise you is if you hold through that wobble and work with the people who can get you through that wobble, get coaching and accounting, get your personal economy where it needs to be, you can push through that with the assistance of others, you'll get back on a smooth track that works. And there will come a time in your life again where you'll wobble and grow. Wobble and grow. And you get to continue to do that. But if you are never experiencing that wobble, what does that say about your life? not learning. And if you're not learning, Angie, can you grow? No. So you guys ready to wobble? Yeah. Wobble. Weevil wobbles. So I challenge you to take advantage of what you've learned today. You've got some fantastic tools from Angie. You can get amazing coaching from Dina that will absolutely impact your life. You can get your personal economy where that needs to be. 
you get to start taking action now. Is there any other time? Can you no. say that again? Oh, no, there is only now. So I challenge you to take advantage of what they've got. They've got their information at the back of the room. Uh, you know how to order it, you know how to, to contact them. But do it now. Experience that wobble, get your life smooth, and continue forward. And then keep growing, keep wobbling. Don't ever sit still. So are you open to doing that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I thank all of you for letting me be here and speak today. And uh, I trust you'll have a great day. Thank you, Nick. Everybody should have a um, little card like this in their packet. And on the one side of it, you'll see that there's a 20 second survey. We would appreciate it if you would fill that out for us. And, Maybe tell us how uh, great we are or how, or, or ways that we might get better, okay? And then um, Nick alluded to information about what you've learned today. And um, on the opposite side of that card, you'll see each of the different speakers that was, was here today. And you can select or not select any one of them to contact you and maybe give you some uh, additional information on how they can work with you individually to uh, help you create choices take action on those choices because I live by a rule that says that my results are the true indicator of what my intentions were. And so intentions without action aren't really intentions, I guess, to put it clearly, okay? Thanks a bunch for coming, and uh, you can just leave these at the back when you get done. Okay.